Hey guys, it's Sarah. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, welcome to my channel. I feel like I can't even say that yet because like... I got such a great response to my last dorm hall video. So I'm going to make a part two as promised because I've gotten some more stuff. I'm pretty much done with my dorm shopping now. I just have to get like some snacks and like all the last minute stuff before I actually go. But I'm going to show you some more stuff that I got. Yeah, my pile has grown. There's so much stuff here. It's taking up like a whole half of my room. So this haul is going to be a lot of toiletries and stuff because that's really all I needed that I haven't gotten yet. To start off, I have some sheets. And I got these at Target. I got most of this stuff at either Target or Bed Bath & Beyond or TJ Maxx. Yeah, ignore my ugliness right now because um, I haven't really done much today, so I'm just kind of chilling. Um, uh, no makeup, obviously, <laughs> and the t-shirt, so. I got two pairs of sheets, and they're just twin size. They're not twin extra long because um, I don't think I need twin extra long. I guess I'll find out when I'm there. Um, I went for orientation and my twin sheets fit on the bed that they like gave us so but first I got just these plain white sheets from Target and they're like organic cotton which is like really important to me they're just plain white not too exciting and I also got pillowcases that um, it'll focus focus there we go pillowcases that match they're just white they match They'll also match these, and these are my a little bit crazier ones, um, my pattern. These are flowery, I don't know, yellow and blue, which matches like my color scheme of my room, and uh, I thought it was really pretty, and they're really soft, and they're also from Target. Next, I got push pins, and you might think this is weird, but push pins, like these little tacks, are um, very useful for hanging things up in your dorm room. Like I said in my previous video, I'm going to hang up all of these license plates and they each have little holes in the tops and the bottoms so that I can hang them up with the pins, the thumbtacks, push pins, whatever you want to call them. The next thing I got was from Costco. I got a lot of my toiletries at Costco because they come in bulk. It's Cetaphil and Cetaphil is like a great cleanser for your skin. And it also comes with like a little mini one in the middle there for like, it's like a travel size. I've been using Cetaphil like since I started washing my face. <laughs> I've been using Cetaphil forever and it has been great. Next thing is from TJ Maxx and they are these little deer foam slippers. And I'm going to use these like walking around my dorm room, walking like to and from my dorm room, to my friend's dorm room, to the back. And they are memory foam, so they're very cushy and soft, and they're just black, and like, they're not very exciting, like, color-wise, because there wasn't that much of a selection. The next thing I got was a backpack, and this is also from TJ Maxx. Uh, you probably see these everywhere, but it's just the High Sierra black backpack, and it has a laptop sleeve, so I can bring my computer to and from class. It has a ton of pockets. It's really sturdy. Um, so I'm very excited about this because all throughout high school I never really had like a really good sturdy backpack. They would always break or they were never like they never had enough pockets. I couldn't fit everything in them. So hopefully this will last and hopefully it will fit all my crap. Next thing I have is um, Costco sized ibuprofen. On every little college packing list that I've looked at, it said like, oh, you have to bring all this medicine, like cold medicine, cough medicine, allergy medicine, I don't know. I don't really take medicine like that. Like if I have a cold or anything, like I don't take cold medicine. I, I don't know, I don't do any of those like nasal spray things. Like I don't do any of that. If I like have a headache, if I have a stomach ache, not stomach ache, if I have like cramps, if I have, um, pain anywhere I'll just take ibuprofen. Next I have an Argan Gloss Shampoo. I also got this at Costco. I've never used it before which I'm a little nervous about because if I don't like it and I'm at college and I start using it. It smells so good. It smells like coconuts. Next I have two facial products. First I have this Clinique Take the Day Off um, makeup remover. You gotta shake it up because it gets separated. 
Uh, this was actually my mom's and she gave it to me because it's like hypoallergenic and it works on my skin. Next I have, this is an oil-free facial moisturizer from Trader Joe's. I don't know if you can see that. It's not going to focus. It's fine. This one is cruelty-free, lightweight, oil-free, doesn't smell like anything. This is great. This is for like after I take my makeup off before I go to bed because there's no um, SPF in it. Next I have a bunch of stuff that you're probably not that interested in so I'm gonna go through it really fast. First I have Costco sized Dove um, sensitive skin soap. Then I have two huge things, four huge things, four things of toothpaste. And I have a bunch of flossers. I use like the little the little like flosser that looks like a toothbrush next i have this really cool product that i found at target that i didn't even know existed and i've been thinking for so long that i wanted to find something like this and i finally did thank you target and they are organic panty liners and tampons so this is a girl thing so like if you're a guy you can skip through this part but like i'm gonna talk about it well, i have been thinking for so long about how much waste like i'm creating from like using tampons and panty liners and um, these ones are 100% certified organic cotton and um, they are free of pesticides, incesticide residues, GMOs, rayon, polyester, chlorine, dioxin, fragrances, perfumes, deodorants, and other scary ingredients which is true because who knows what they put in the normal kind. It's by the brand Cora and um, these are the tampons. And these are the panty liners. Next, I have a little piece of decoration. Um, it's a little wooden sign, and it says the future is bright. And my sister gave this to me for my graduation. So I have this book that my grandma gave me. It's 1001 Things Every College Student Should Know. And it's literally chock full of advice. So I have this. It's a little heavy, but this is my shower caddy. Um, I got a mesh one. Mesh on the bottom and little mesh pocket so that if water gets in it, it usually drains out. First pocket, I have toothbrushes. There are four here. That's probably a little excessive. I have um, this shampoo. It's by the brand Love Beauty and Planet. And it is um, argan oil and lavender. And it's just so pretty. And it smells so good. And this bottle is made from 100% recycled plastic. By the way, this is not sponsored. If you want to sponsor me, I have some deodorants. I have multiple of them, but I'll just show you one. This is Schmidt's Rose and Vanilla. I also got this at Costco. This is um, another organic natural brand. Um, it is vegan. It is it has no aluminum, no propylene glycerol, if I said that wrong. It's fine. <laughs> Next, I also have two of these, but I'm only going to show you one. It is the Olay Complete Daily Moisturizer. I've never tried this before. I don't know much about it. I hope it's good. And I also got this Aveeno Moisturizer. It is Stress Relief Moisturizing Lotion, which I will definitely need. The last thing I have in my little shower caddy is this Mane and Tail Shampoo. And if you know about Mane and Tail, you know that it was originally... A horse shampoo and then people found out they can use it on their own hair I guess I don't know but this is a lot I have this cute little first aid kit I still need to stock it up with a lot of stuff but um, I have some stuff in here I have um, a Neosporin a little mini Neosporin and an Aquaphor chapstick and I also have band-aids and more band-aids and these these are Mickey Mouse band-aids. How cute is that? Cleaning products, which is not very exciting, but I'm gonna show you anyway. I have this pure and clear dishwater dish wa dish detergent. I'm definitely gonna do a college move-in vlog, so if you want to see that, click that subscribe button. Next, I have this seventh generation the disinfectant spray, and I'm a huge germaphobe, so I'm really gonna be spraying this around my entire dorm. It also smells like lavender, vanilla, and thyme. So I'm getting as much lavender stuff as humanly possible, because lavender is supposed to be like stress relief, and I'm gonna need that so much. I also have Greenworks um, disinfecting wipes. Um, and this is in the scent Water Lily, because the original scent was disgusting. So got a Purell. This one has aloe in it. I know that's not that much better. I know that Purell is pretty bad, but like 
I need it. You can tell I'm a huge germaphobe, so I'm gonna have to try to get over that in college. I also have free and clear dryer sheets, and these are just the Target brand, I'm pretty sure. I have Tide Pods, and then these are the free and gentle kind. They don't look like food, they don't taste like food. Just use them for your laundry. As I said earlier, I'm allergic to a lot of stuff because I have such sensitive skin and um, laundry detergent is one of those things. So this one is free and gentle and dermatologist recommended, which is important to me because I don't wanna be breaking out in hives. Just a few more things I've added to my pile of things that I'm bringing to college include this bag that my sister also gave me for my graduation. And I think it's from TJ Maxx and it just says farmer's market and I love farmers markets this is such a cute bag and I can totally just like throw some stuff in here and bring it and every I think I don't know what day it is but I know every week or every other week or so um, there is a farmers market in um, like the main like area of my school so like that's super exciting I'll definitely be attending that and finally I also added my GoPro to my pile of things I'm gonna bring because I'm gonna be hiking a lot and skiing a lot and doing a lot of outdoorsy fun stuff in college. So I will be bringing my GoPro, I'll be filming, I'll be uploading some cool edits. So that is everything I have not shown you yet um, for my college haul. Stay tuned for more videos like this. I hope you enjoyed this one just as much as you enjoyed the last one. I have a lot coming at ya. Oh my God, I'm so cringy.